All right, so today we are gonna have an interview with Grant Miller. It's the second time I've, call, I've talked, talked with him. You know Grant from Community Newspaper, the guy that's got all that energy and he shows you everything. I'm gonna try to match that energy. It's a little tough, but I'm gonna do my best to match. Come with me, come on, I'm, I'm Manny Pozo with Grant Miller, let's go. Oh, sorry, hold on. Great. Almost there. Almost there. I just finished up the fire. All right, guys. Work still continues, even though we have to, we we would we we're having fun here. So, so Grant, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Looking good. <laughs> My man, Grant. Um, and and when there's a you know pipe break, water yeah, restoration. I did a with you. I did all the restaurants with you, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we did do that. Yeah, yeah. What's my favorite restaurant? Yeah. Locally, you know, so, yeah. Mold. What else? Uh, mold. Marine mold on yachts. Um, and then just uh, emergencies, uh, pipe breaks, um, plugs, things like that. Let's talk about your company. Yeah. The biggest issue. What does your company do exactly? And then the other thing is. I know you do a little response, but mold is everywhere. Every person is paranoid about mold. Yeah. So let's talk about mold. Talk about your company. Let's talk about mold, and we'll talk about other stuff. What sure. Else Absolutely. So we we've, we've been in business over 15 years, and we started off as a biohazard cleaning company. So crime scenes, blood, all those type of things. And um, like really, C like CI, whatever the these TV shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We come in after they're they're gone because everybody thinks that we're in there like if we're CSI. The mold starts to grow, the environment, uh, the mold starts to grow in your in your in your kitchen in the drywall, and can actually release these spores that get into your air conditioning system, and now you've contaminated essentially your own home. Um, so uh, the reality is, is that mold can grow, but there are certain levels um, that are acceptable, especially in a home, and there's certain molds. That are acceptable and there are certain molds that are unacceptable they should not what, you should what's not unacceptable? so unacceptable for instance is what we call black mold stachybotrys another one called chatham um, that are zero we don't want any any of that mold now we have a whole division and we've gotten so busy with it we have a whole division for for yachts really what, what size of the yacht do you uh, for me, it's like about a 40, 50, 40, 50 footer What's with an point? indoor cabinet. But we just did one the other day. It was, I think, it was 100 feet, 150 feet. And the storms, hurricanes, they call you. Absolutely. And if, if there's damage, call your agent and call fire response yes. to get a feeling for what's going on because you need to know right away and how to fix it right away. Mm -hmm. And insurance companies are. What do you say they might be adding into their thing about mold? Uh, exclusion. So the, right now, the big okay. thing on, on insurance companies are excluding um, mold is a choice, right? You, you have to pay extra to get mold. The other thing it's is mold they, insurance. Mold, yeah, mold insurance. Mold's coverage, as right. they call it. All right. All right. Let's go. Hey, see you later. Take care. Yeah, got it. Push the handle down. Yes, we'll do it. That was great. I had a good time with our good friend Grant. Uh, the guy's a ball of energy, man. I need to take a nap after that or, or a drink of coffee. But uh, it's awesome to see a guy like him supporting small businesses like us. And he's really one of the pillars of our community, right? The politicians come and go, but this guy's been around and him and his brother have been around for a long time. So thank you.